Uh, I am here at Sato from Tokyo Tech, and uh, uh, presenting your title is uh, USB Debug Capability Support and FreeBSD Revised. So um, I am a Japanese FreeBSD committer uh, since around 2000, and uh, working in various areas. And uh, recently, uh, I tried to implement the uh, USB Debug support. And uh, uh, this talk is, uh, was Give, uh, I gave this talk at uh, UrbCon, but the, uh, this is a revised version. And originally, um, originally I planned to uh, finish the uh, code side and, uh, and uh, commit the results into tree before this talk, but uh, I didn't have enough time in, in these uh, two months. So uh, still, um, uh, so the working core is in the album, this talks album struct is still uh, in my uh, laptop uh, that still need to uh, uh, revise. So I, I will uh, give a talk about the so difference uh, between uh, between the talk at the University Con and the, uh, what what we what I have and uh, what we will have as a project in the near future. So uh, this is the outline of my talk. And uh, first, uh, I would like to talk about the background of the USB debug. Uh, probably uh, this uh, feature is not so popular. So uh, I will explain that what it is first. And then um, uh, this, uh, I will dive into the so high level overview first and then the implementation details. Okay, the first one is uh, background. So, um, so I am uh, working on the kernel as well. Uh, I'm also working on the kernel in a project. So uh, in a uh, working on when working on kernel, uh, I got a lot of panic and uh, uh, difficult to. Uh, so uh, sometimes it is difficult to find what was wrong, and uh, I want to get into the debugger, so DDB or GDB. A session to examine the memory region or something like that. But to do that, um, um, if the keyboard and the screen, so uh, if the screens are alive, uh, I can access by using the so, uh, normal equipment. But uh, if the keyboard is dead or uh, the screen is dead, if, especially when um, um, working on a graphic driver, it is difficult to uh, get information from the machine. So uh, one of the way to access the uh, internal state of the uh, machine was a serial console but using the legacy uh, serial, serial port. But uh, um, so serial console was uh, popular uh, to uh, get the access, but the uh, serial port itself is uh, now obsolete, and uh, uh, most of the uh, machines we can uh, buy now do not have the legacy CL port, uh, like the on the on this slide. So, if you have a, a legacy CL port, you can connect the two machines by using the um, a cross cable, and you can get access easily. So, on a, so recent, on recent machines, uh, there is no um, a serial port. So, but uh, there are several alternatives to get the same access. One of the uh, famous one is an IPMI that is uh, that has a redirection of the uh, so console access, the virtual console access over the Ethernet or over uh, dedicated protocol that that is backed by the base uh, board management controller inside the uh, machine that it, it is only available for the um, expensive machines like a software grade machine you cannot get the uh, base baseboard management controller on the so consumer level uh, especially over the entry level laptop or something like that so uh, USB is the replacement of the legacy interfaces, including serial port. It's supposed to be. So uh, if the serial port supports 
um, uh, connection, direct connection between two hosts, uh, USB can do the same thing. However, uh, USB specification basically requires the tiered star topology. Tiered star topology means the tree-like uh, topology, but the um, connection is requires the between the device and the host. And a the connection between a device and device uh, is not allowed in this uh, topology. So if you have a laptop machine and if you, if you have another uh, laptop machine, the, there are a type A ports, but uh, you cannot connect the two hosts using the A to A, um, a cable. So no direct connection is uh, allowed. You, you must have um, um, non-device like a hub or host to connect on a USB device. So the USB debug capability is uh, something that makes the con direct connection possible. So one sentence summary is, uh, if the USB debug capability is enabled on your machine, one of your, port, not one of your USB port will be USB device. So there is no need of uh, additional hardware. If you have a USB 3 host controller, and uh, it is uh, based on the XACI specification, and uh, I, I think most host controller, USB 3.0 host controller, use, use um, XACI. Uh, so uh, potentially uh, your device have has, has this kind of uh, functionality. And uh, activating the debugging capability on your host, the, uh, you can use your laptop as um, USB device. So based on the specification, and the uh, USB host and the USB device can be connected. However, the connector is uh, still USB A. So you you must have um, you you ha you need to have an A to A uh, connection by uh, using a special cable. It is not uh, uh, it is not popular because uh, it is a normal it is not a normal uh, cable. So uh, maybe it is difficult for you to find an A to A cable. But the cable itself is. Um, um, specified in the uh, XHGI uh, specification. And then you can see the USB 3.1 legacy connector. Legacy connector means uh, type A. And the cable specification says the 5.5.2, uh, the A to A cable assembly. So a uh, for USB 2.0, A to A uh, cable is not allowed completely hardware level. However, uh, since uh, uh, USB 3.0, the A to A connector is actually uh, valid on the specification. But it, um, I, I don't think it is, it is, uh, it is standardized, but it's not uh, popular or normal. And uh, there are similar technologies uh, using uh, so cable or uh, um, some uh, some gadget to connect it to machines to get to see a console. Uh, the, one of the famous one is the FireWire, the I2E uh, 1394. That supports the direct connection using the normal cable. And OHCI specification is a uh, host controller side specification. And uh, if you write a uh, driver, uh, you can uh, read or write the memory region on, on another host. So there is no uh, security uh, countermeasure about this access to just connect to another machine and uh, you can inspect the, all of the memory region. So um, Deacon's uh, driver on the FreeBSD is uh, based on the, this uh, function uh, to get uh, uh, console access and uh, 
another uh, there are other drivers that use this uh, memory rewrite capability to implement the uh, so, uh, Ethernet uh, or the IP level uh, communication or um, uh, just sending the message from the one one host to another. But the FireWire is considered a legacy interface as well. So um, recent machines um, do not have uh, FireWire. Uh, even uh, uh, although you, you can uh, put the FireWire card uh, into your machine, they, they, they are still available in the market, but uh, FireWire is not, uh, not so popular, uh, no longer popular these days. And as I mentioned, the USB 2.0 um, is uh, also supports the uh, debug capability. And uh, this is uh, EHCI uh, specification. It's uh, um, um, so from a generation of the uh, host controller. But it, that actually supports the same functionality with the uh, uh, USB 3.0 uh, debugging capability I'm talking about, uh, talking right now. But uh, USB 2.0 has uh, only two uh, signal lines. That is, and the uh, USB 2 uses the two lines to send the data from one to another in a half, half duplex fashion. So uh, there is no cross uh, connection, crossover connection, uh, reverse connection uh, con concept in this uh, cable. So uh, to support the debugging capability and a specification sets, uh, you have to uh, use the special device uh, in the middle of two uh, machines and that device accepts the uh, type uh, B uh, connection and the um, sending and the receiving uh, signaling is uh, reversed inside the uh, uh, equipment. So you can see the, this photo, so this is a special, one of the special devices, um, and uh, that accepts the two connections, uh, the USB 2, and uh, just uh, uh, worked as um, uh, cross cable. But, uh, this hardware is a uh, very limited availability, so it is difficult to find the, this uh, device. Uh, uh, even at the time, and uh, really, and so it is not worth uh, supporting this kind of uh, device on a modern operating system. So uh, if, uh, the, I will uh, move on to the implementation details. So. Using the um, a serial access, so you can get the communication between the two um, uh, machines. And the serial communication means uh, a single wire or a few wires uh, delivers the uh, data over uh, using the voltage changes in a, in a time division manner. So if you want to uh, send the data as uh, 0x65, and, uh, you have to think it as the bit string like this. And uh, a single clock send uh, one bit over the wire, and the receiver side have to uh, check the voltage change and get the data a bit by bit basis. So in a timeline, uh, the, if the machine A has a uh, Exit this mile 65, and uh, that uh, 8 bit a bit sequence will be transferred from machine A to machine B. And uh, in the lower level, uh, this, uh, this kind of communication is uh, implemented using the uh, logic named uh, shift register. Just uh, connecting the wire uh, between the two shift registers and the uh, clocking. Um, uh, and uh, uh, applying the clock, uh, you can have the uh, uh, bit shrink uh, automatically after the eight clock, af uh, after eight clocks later. And uh, USB is uh, much more complex, but the uh, basics is not uh, changed. The serial communication between the two USB, uh, USB host and the USB device, 
the host controller is on the host side and the device controller is device side. And to communicate the host controller a prepared data or uh, data might maybe a prepared on the device controller, but uh, all of the data, it is uh, it will be uh, transferred or prepared inside the buffer. That is called a TRB, transfer request block. And a transfer request block is um, managed as a ring buffer uh, on each side. So host controller has a T, uh, ring buffer that consists of the multiple uh, TLB. And uh, this is uh, a memory region. And the device controller side has the same, exactly the same uh, data structure. And the two uh, wing buffer is virtually connected uh, by the USB uh, subsystem. And uh, each endpoint is, uh, is um, so that uh, transfer, it used to tra transfer the data on the so host controller or in the uh, uh, device controller. So the EP means the endpoint, and the connection is named the pipe in a USB specification. And if the two machines has uh, multiple uh, connection, you can have uh, multiple virtual uh, communication over the single uh, USB uh, connection. So in that case, the host controller has a, a multiple wing buffer and a device side has a multiple link buffer that you can establish the uh, two link buffer uh, uh, pipe uh, between the two uh, link buffer. So you can define the multiple um, uh, pipes when it is needed. Inside a uh, uh, TRV, the transfer block is a very simple uh, structure. That it, this, this is a, a, six, a 16 byte uh, contiguous memory region. And the wing buffer consists of the multiple TRB, and it is uh, actually an array of the TRB. So, um, so a single TRB do not have a, a pointer to a an, an next entry. So it is not a linked list, it's just an array. And the ring buffer, to form the ring buffer, um, uh, TRB has uh, several types. So this green one means the normal uh, transfer uh, buffer and uh, transfer block, and uh, this can hold the pointer to the actual uh, data. So uh, this is uh, uh, internal layout of the 16-byte block, and the uh, first two uh, field is for the buffer address, the 64-byte. A 64 bit and the length field and a type field is the uh, tail of this structure. And uh, so a single uh, TLB points the data to be transferred, and uh, the USB controller reads the uh, top of the uh, wing buffer and process the data uh, transfer uh, sequentially from, from top to bottom. And the uh, this is a ring buffer, so there is uh, there are the two pointers. One is the NQ pointer, and uh, another is a DQ pointer. It is maintained in uh, uh, each ring buffer, and uh, so you can see the last entry of the ring buffer, and it, it is called a link uh, TRB. Link TRB is uh, just a 16-byte uh, data structure, uh, as the other uh, TRB, but uh, this is uh, this has the pointer to another TLB. It is a different type uh, value in the type field, and if host controller uh, found find the uh, link TLB, the host controller will read the next TLB from the address uh, pointed by the link TLB. And uh, normal TLB has uh, this. Uh, uh, buffer address and the length and type uh, so for fields, but the, another type of TLB uses the totally different meanings uh, for uh, these um, 
have healed. So in the case of uh, the linked ELB, um, a relative address of the um, TLB is stored in a, a first two field. So you can have uh, uh, arbitrarily uh, long um, uh, being a buffer if you like, just the array and the link TLB is located at the tail. So there is no limitation uh, in terms of the uh, uh, um, length of the uh, being buffer. So uh, back to the ISP debug, it's uh, talk about the uh, TLB or is a, a general description on the t uh, data transfer and the internal data structure of uh, USB uh, specification. But the uh, specifics about the debug capability, yes. Um, so I, I will talk about the specifics about the USB debug capability from this slide. So I already explained that the one sentence, sentence summary of the debug capability is you can change the role of the USB port uh, with the device one on your laptop. Usually uh, your laptop, uh, it may have a lot of USB ports, but all of the ports are host, host, host side port. They cannot work as a device. However, uh, if you uh, enable the debug capability, one of them can be, uh, can act as a device. So I call this, it as it, I call it as a the virtual device side control controller on this slide. To realize the device side function, uh, you need a device controller. It is uh, different from the host controller. However, uh, host controller has a very limited, uh, uh, very um, some uh, device controller function. It's inside the host um, uh, controller only for uh, debugging capability. So um, the functionality is a minimum, but the one port can be uh, used as the device. And the limitations are listed on this slide and the pipes are limited to only uh, two in and out. The direction is um, uh, fixed. So if you want to have a uh, uh, different type of pipes, you can have for debugging capability. Uh, the important point is uh, you cannot get the interrupt for the debugging capability. Usually, uh, if you have uh, so Ethernet uh, connect uh, Ethernet device that can convert the USB connection to the Ethernet, the high speed uh, communication is required. So the pipe supports the interrupt to uh, not to notify the arrival of the data, but uh, that requires the interrupt pipe. It is uh, defined in the USB specification, but uh, a debugging capability does not have the additional pipe, just a simple in and out. And uh, this is uh, similar to the three wire uh, connection uh, of the legacy serial port. And the speed has, uh, so five gigabps is a uh, theoretical upper limit but, but uh, it is difficult to reach the, the such a higher uh, bandwidth. But, but the specification itself does not limit the uh, lower, say the 480 megabps in the USB 2. It supports the five gigabps. And the maximum size of a USB packet, the USB is a uh, packet-based communication, but it is uh, limited to the one kilobytes. So uh, USB uh, memory stick or USB um, SSD supports a large um, uh, payload for the USB packets to get the more uh, um, uh, throughput, but uh, in, in its uh, limited device, a virtual device only supports one kilobytes at once. And uh, another uh, uh, biggest difference uh, from the uh, normal devices, the 
if you uh, enable the debugging capability on your uh, machine, and then one of the ports will disappear from the OS. And a host controller cannot see that port. It is um, just like uh, uh, unplugging, uh, unplug the uh, connector from the hub. So the device will disappear and the port itself will also disappear from the uh, hardware enumeration of the operating system. So uh, plus side is uh, uh, no full uh, USB stack is required to send a, a data over the uh, debugging capability because um, usually uh, to send a USB, uh, to send a data over a USB connection, you have to uh, configure the so TLB ring and then um, uh, configuration based on the connected device. So if you uh, plug in the uh, mouse to your laptop, so the laptop will uh, uh, detect the connection and uh, send a control message to uh, get the information about uh, what kind of device is connected. And uh, uh, information, uh, received information, uh, based on the received information, the operating system must have um, the necessary structure uh, prepared inside the OS and uh, so prepare the buffer or to prepare the um, uh, device handling, uh, uh, device handling uh, callback or uh, this kind of uh, preparation is required. But in a case of debugging capability, um, just the sending uh, data or just the receiving a data. So just put the that just putting data on the TRV uh, structure, the hardware will automatically handle the uh, sending or receiving um, over the USB connection. So uh, you do not need to care about the, what, what, which port is connected or um, so what, uh, which, uh, which port is a target. They, all of the uh, necessary uh, configuration is done by the host controller. And uh, so um, this uh, property uh, works as an advantage on implementing the um, non-feature rich environment like a loader or a debugger that is uh, that is um, that the debugging capability is useful for um, debugging purpose. Legacy serial port can be uh, you, you can use a legacy serial port just uh, issuing the uh, single instruction like uh, in or out the IO port access. So um, so you do not need any. Uh, preparation on the OS side. Uh, you want to send a, uh, a single character, uh, you can uh, issue the one single uh, instruction well, wherever um, the code is located in a kernel or a user land. Or, and so access to the IO port is some, uh, sometimes uh, prohibited, but uh, if it is not allowed, it is allowed, the, that will go to the legacy CL port. And a USB debugging capability is uh, slightly uh, complex than the just uh, issuing a single instruction, but they're still uh, manageable uh, inside the loader or uh, before loading the kernel. And a uh, debugging capability itself is designed as a transport for more uh, complicated debugging feature. Uh, for example, the, uh, Intel has um, access to the internal state of the CPU. And to get the access to the internal state, um, ESB debug capability is used on the uh, very specific uh, dedicated hardware. So the specification says to transport only. And uh, if you connect the debugging capability, what kind of data is available? That depends on the 
totally depends on the uh, structure of the uh, host target, uh, so debugging target side. So some uh, hardware has the, uh, so um, you can get the memory region, so data on the, some memory region, so you can specify the, uh, to get the more, um, uh, so internet state of the machines um, over the debugging capability. So what protocol is used are not in, on the uh, standard. So uh, this is actually used as a uh, transport to the uh, uh, foundation for uh, implementing the JTAG or DCI. DCI is uh, um, uh, Intel's uh, debugging feature, the, the proprietary one. But it, this can expose the a uh, lot of information, including the uh, processor uh, internal states. But the, so, but entry level machines also has um, the debugging capability on the host controller because the um, USB chipset has the same, um, same circuit in the semiconductor level because uh, uh, designing in the USB is uh, uh, pretty difficult. So um, how, do we how do we manufacture, uh, we use the same design in a multiple um, uh, products in a partly or completely uh, um, the same as circuit is uh, used in a uh, USB implement hardware implementation on a, another manufacturer. So debugging capability itself is um, uh, optional, but the, uh, uh, as far as I can check, uh, uh, there are a lot of, so more, most of the modern uh, PCs you can, uh, in, in the market you can find, uh, have uh, a debugging capability. And how to use the debugging capabilities uh, totally up to um, uh, operating system or software running on the machine. So I uh, try to use that. Uh, for the simple uh, serial communication as a replacement uh, of the uh, legacy CL port. So the use cases and the security concerns as listed on this slide and the uh, use cases, uh, the, as I repeatedly emphasized that just like a uh, uh, legacy CL port. So you can get the console login access to the headless servers and the, you can get the DDB access even if uh, uh, your screen or keyboard does not work. And uh, yeah, all of the uh, communication, so most of the communication have, have handled uh, by the host controller hardware level uh, circuit. So even if the kernel dies, um, you uh, it is likely to uh, get uh, DDB access. And the uh, remote GDB session can be, um, is another uh, way, another popular way to uh, get uh, access to uh, kernel, it's a running kernel or um, after uh, panic. But uh, Legacy CL board supports the DDB access or remote DDB, so uh, USB debug capability also can support this kind of things. And uh, if you, once you have a serial communication uh, channel, uh, you have another, uh, you have other uh, functions uh, like uh, uh, file transfer over the serial line or IP communication over the serial line. So there are a lot of, uh, uh, something over SVO line, it is a historical, uh, it is now historical things, uh, but so I, for example, the file transfer, the X modem or the Y modem or Z model, modems are used in the past, but uh, it is still usable if you have the SVO line. And uh, for IP communications, the PPP or SLIP, uh, it's, uh, they are um, not so popular these days, but uh, uh, you can use that. And uh, in the security, in terms of the security, um, just uh, activating the debugging capability is not, not um, uh, dangerous because uh, that provides another entry point 
of the uh, console access. So, and uh, if you um, if you are running the FreeBSD on the laptop and uh, you enable the debugging capability, and someone can connect using the special A2A cable to get the access, but that access is just appeared as a TT uh, device on the, under the uh, slash, dev, slash dev. So it is just like a uh, um, uh, physical console using the keyboard and screen. So uh, you uh, so the someone can someone that connects the uh, your machine will get the login prompt, or if you do not uh, uh, configure the Getty uh, entry for the um, uh, debug capability device, uh, the he will not have the, any response from the uh, connection. So. I think uh, 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 compared to, uh, comparing uh, the security concerns on the Firewire or Thunderbolt like uh, solutions, um, uh, this uh, functionality is safer and uh, probably uh, you can enable this uh, all the time. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the software components and the more aspects about the uh, debugging capability. And as I uh, explained, um, the back host and the back target are, are defined for the uh, debugging capability. So these are these can be the uh, same kind of uh, devices. Yeah, so uh, you can uh, think con we can consider this as uh, two uh, laptops, and uh, laptops has um, have a USB port, so USB A port, but uh, one side work as a USB host, a USB debug host, and the debug host is a normal uh, usage of the, your machine. And uh, you can log into the, um, so using your account and the USB port is uh, working as a host mode. And the uh special uh, thing about it, related to the debugging capability is required. If you want to use the debugging capability, uh, you need something on the target side. So host side is just to connect, just uh, to connect the uh, debugging target and the debugging target will act as a device. Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay. So implementation is, uh, so on the FreeBSD implementation, I wrote the simple driver uh, called the UDBC. And uh, this is, um, um, so one, ad one additional to so USB uh, device driver. And uh, debug, on the debug host, you need this because the uh, uh, USB virtual device by the USB, uh, debugging capability has a special class uh, ID, so uh, a normal operating system uh, does not support the class the, and uh, does not have a driver for that special class. So the UDBC uh, is u needed to uh, recognize the debug target. And on the debug target, you need more and because uh, you need to activate the debug capability. And uh, so to end point is uh, automatically configured and uh, you have to configure the TRB ring buffers for in and out uh, endpoints. And the hardware will uh, get the data from the memory region uh, allocated for the TRB uh, using the DMA so a DMA mapping is required. So on the FreeBSD, uh, the console backend loader and the kernel uh, must be um, a change to support the debugging capability. capability. So to enable the de uh, debugging capability on a target is uh, relatively simple because uh, uh, there is uh, 
uh, register on the PCI uh, configuration space and uh, extended capability uh, this, uh, 0x, 0a. And uh, if you can find this uh, capability, uh, you can uh, access to the uh, debug capability register. Uh, this is uh, uh, listed on the uh, XHCI specification. And the three tier viewing is, uh, must be prepared in the somewhere in the main memory and the address is stored, address must be uh, stored in the register. And uh, in and out in the event handling, these three are uh, down in the tier B ring. And uh, the MA mapping is uh, usually required because uh, uh, so, um, so host control will be access the memory uh, asynchronously uh, from the CPU access. So in the uh, previous day, uh, there, there are three uh, consoles uh, from the viewpoint of the user. And it, first, in a loader, if you want to have a, a um, prompt, loader prompt over the serial line, you have to uh, add the a console at the loader level. And uh, the implementation is uh, located in the uh, lo EFI loader. At, and the conf.c, you can, you can uh, find the struct console. Uh, the, all of the available consoles are listed here. And if you want to have more, and then you need to an additional entry here. And uh, a debugging capability imp implementation, uh, the UDB console is added here. And uh, you can uh, use the console named the UDB. And, uh, and the lower level, um, this this console will be uh, called using the um, uh, several methods uh, defined in the uh, construct console, and the probing in in it will be uh, called in the uh, during the so in the uh, first stage, very early stage of the um, uh, loader and. Uh, each validation should be done in the um, init, C init method. And the UDB init will uh, configure the uh, debugging capability register and uh, uh, using this um, uh, definition of the struct control will enable the, enable the machine can use the uh, debugging capability before loading the kernel. And in the kernel, the first one is uh, struct const dev and the console driver. This uh, console driver is um, to uh, provide the uh, definition of the console uh, scattered around the uh, kernel source and to get them into, into one place to call the so probing like uh, another uh, other um, uh, device enumeration. And so if you put the console driver uh, macro somewhere in the kernel code and the uh, method is uh, associated method is defined in this way, the CN probe and the CN init will be called in the very early uh, stitch of the machine independent init routine. So just after the loading of the kernel, that means. And a CN init is a uh, starting point of the um, uh, probing process. And uh, it is defined in the current cons.c, but uh, um, actually uh, uh, this calls in the each uh, platform dependent um, file loads in the very early stage because uh, uh, we want to have uh, console access as uh, as early as possible to for debugging purpose. And uh, if this uh, definition, this declaration is included in the kernel, you can see the um, symbols in the cons control output. The, you can see the UDB cons um, if you use the uh, debugging capability uh, implementation. 
It is different from the UDB symbol for the loader. And another entry point of the uh, console, uh, uh, you can see um, for the other hardware like a UART or uh, IPMI. Um, uh, there is a device node. This, this is a TD device. And because the, if you want to uh, use the console as um, uh, for the login access, you have to, uh, you must have the entry point for the user land uh, process. So the, the device node is uh, usually used for that purpose. And, uh, but uh, uh, this device is not automatically created by the uh, framework and explained in the previous slide. So um, uh, this is uh, uh, implementation of the XHCI. And uh, so TT device switch is uh, uh, defined and the TT make dev is uh, used in the initialization of the um, uh, debugging capability. And uh, so callout is defined here, and a callout is required for uh, debugging capability because uh, there is no interruption. So uh, no one can um, uh, notice the uh, data arrival. So uh, callout is used to pull the, uh, to check the arrival of the data on the TRV ring. So. Uh, controllers, uh, uh, USB controller just put the arrival data on the ring buffer. So there is no notification. So uh, kernel must, uh, kernel need to check the ring buffer and, it, and periodically. So uh, using a callout is uh, one of the typical way to do that. Okay, so the memory region for um, ring buffer must be uh, used by the loader and the kernel. Because uh, at the loader level and the load at the uh, kernel level and the TT level, and the D3 entry point are different, but uh, from the viewpoint of the user, um, usually uh, uh, the same communication can be uh, realize, uh, can realize using the uh, which uh, interface is used. Uh, regardless which yeah, interface is used. But uh, to realize that the TRV ring have, should, must have the same memory region. From the device controller side, the, the memory region can see the same, but uh, for the loader and for the kernel, uh, the virtual address can be uh, different because the allocation of the memory region and the mapping might be are done in the different stage. So my implementation, the current implementation uses the UEFI, UEFI service to um, uh, create a map for the uh, DMA and the allocation of the memory is also uh, done by the US UEFI service because uh, 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 loader, uh, so loader can, loader, so that so loader can support uh, uh, communication over the uh, debugging capability. However, uh, after loading the kernel, um, so mapping and the other, uh, so allocated memory are difficult to uh, access because there is no way to uh, pass the information around over the, uh, between the loader and the kernel. So the currently, uh, so um, uh, kernel will override all the configuration after the load after loading the kernel and uh, reconfigure using the uh, the kernel side uh, TRV right now. So um, I I want to uh, fix uh, this uh, complexity, but uh, I have uh, currently you know, no no good idea to uh, solve this, but uh, uh, for the debugging capability, the, if we want to support in a loader level, and uh, uh, which memory region should be used for uh, a TRV is uh, one of the problem I, uh, at least I have to um, uh, solve. 
So, um, okay, so I still have uh, 10 minutes. So the physical setup is uh, easy. So uh, explaining the technical details uh, a bit boring, but the uh, setting up is uh, just a cable. So uh, you can use the uh, special cable. And I bring the six set of the uh, cross cable here. So if you're interested in uh, testing or trying the implementation, please feel free to uh, contact me. And uh, so A to A uh, USB 3 cable is uh, available in the market, at least in Japan. And uh, I heard that uh, this kind of a cable available in the US and North America. So um, to connect the two machines, uh, connecting the two machines are enough for physical setup. But you have to find a root hub ports. Root hub means the, so every USB hot has a uh, top, the so root node of the tree structure. And that consists the consists of the, uh, so two ports, the four ports to connect the USB device, but the top one, uh, you can use the only top one as the um, uh, debugging capability. So some uh, machines that have a lot of uh, USB ports that actually uh, the ports are connected to the root via uh, internal hub. So um, it, you can uh, check the just uh, connecting the um, um, cable into the uh, machines, but uh, yeah, this is one of the limitation. And uh, you can not use the USB 2 ports, uh, naturally. This is uh, limited to the USB uh, 3.0 uh, specification. And uh, yeah, if you want to have, uh, um, uh, you have, to have a cable, and uh, I will, I bring the six set of the cables, so E plus the BST, a charm, so key, a key ring, so uh, please catch me. Okay, so I still have uh, five minutes or so. so uh, and uh, yeah, I have uh, uh, implementation, but uh, uh, as I mentioned in the uh, beginning of this talk, I did not have time to um, uh, sort out the uh, working implementation. But if you are interested in the uh, testing, uh, please use the uh, uh, file is listed uh, this slide, and uh, you can use uh, this uh, set of files uh, to um, to confirm your hardware uh, if your hardware supports the debugging capability, and actually you can get the get the communication uh, work between the two hosts, and uh, yeah. And I can do some demos here, so. But uh, I am wondering how to show the demo. But, uh, so using uh, this camera. And uh, this is an old uh, laptop, so think uh, old ThinkPad using the, oh. And you can see that this hub, this is a USB hub that shows the connection status on the display. And this a blue one is the 3.0 connection. And uh, oh, and uh, you can see the I have a MacBook and the ThinkPad, and it. Two, two are connected by the, this small cloth cable, white one. And uh, this is a half, and uh, this connection is going to, uh, goes to the MacBook. So in this connection, so A to A connection between the two hosts. And I usually, So uh, connection status is 
change it because the I reboot the laptop, so uh, think about right now. And A to A connection does not work even for the USB 3.0 normally. However, the, after the booting of the FreeBSD, the, this connection status to change it to um, 3.0 here. This is because the so uh, bootloader has the um, initialization uh, routine, and uh, so uh, this is the so DBC I uh, import. It's, you you can uh, see the uh, interactions uh, using the URL in the previous slide, and uh, you can try the loader. Uh, if the hardware supports the DBC uh, debugging capability or not. And uh, this device supports it in the, uh, using the cable and uh, another endpoint of the USB um, cable will act as a device. So MacBook will recognize this as a device. So I will show that. Um, Okay, so this is a Japanese uh, Japanese list, but the USB USB three and on the MacBook, and uh, you can see that this device. So this is uh, just connected between the two uh, host by A to A cable, and if we use the USB DBC GP device, and this string can be changed by uh, setting the arbitrary uh, string. And the uh, ID and the uh, other uh, information is uh, set by uh, fixed value. And uh, usually, um, uh, simple uh, serial device debugging capability uh, driver uses uh, uh, Linux Foundation's um, uh, uh, manufacturer ID. So I use the same as the uh, Linux implementation. But uh, yeah, and other uh, kind of other uh, properties of the device are set by hardware, so without any uh, OS uh, support. And uh, and I'm using QMU on MacBook, so. And that device is connected to FreeBSD. Uh, UDVC device uh, detects the connection. And so the UDVC device is just another USB serial device. So a uh, device noise, the TTU or CUAU or something like that uh, appeared on the div slash, div slash dev. And uh, you can connect the uh, this console device, and uh, this one on a ThinkPad side, it is still um, a loader, and a try to send some message Uber. and a uh, transfer error, ignoring the transfer error <laughs> but uh, this command is uh, set the TRB on the uh, ThinkPad side and uh, back to back to the uh, FreeBSD the Hubar arrived here so this is a basic uh, testing for uh, if the hardware is supported by the backing capability. And uh, so this communication can be bidirectional and uh, um, use, can be used as a normal um, serial device. OK. 
Okay, time is up. Okay, so to do the feature work the quickly. Uh, I have tested uh, 20 uh, different machines uh, because uh, I'm concerned about the availability of the uh, debugging capability, but the, uh, there seems a good availability, so it is worth uh, implementing in the um, uh, uh, previous, as a previous driver on the previous D as a, uh, as a, as a normal device or the useful device. And uh, UDBCC is uh, almost ready, and uh, probably uh, I can I can have uh, some more um, for uh, reliability uh, fixes, but the uh, uh, current implementation is enough. But the UDB console backend and the UDB cons and the user land um, in three point should have uh, as a PC or a good C handler. So uh, dis distribution, I uh, put the table uh, as it, on a location uh, pointed in the previous slide, do that, do not include the push and the guessy handler because uh, uh, there are some uh, problems. But uh, you can try the loader level uh, push C. So uh, if you're interested in it, uh, please try that. And I will, uh, I will uh, uh, finish the uh, driver in uh, next prefix and the. Uh, import the working code into the uh, main FreeBSD tree. And uh, probably, I, I hope, or uh, if uh, everyone agrees, I want to enable it by default, because um, uh, using the A to A cable is not as uh, close to any security uh, concerns or security um, problem. And uh, unless inserting, uh, Inserting the A to A cable, that all of the USB ports are uh, or uh, will work as um, um, as normal um, host side port. So I think uh, there is no this uh, a disadvantage by uh, enabling it by default. Okay, so I need help about the compatibility issue. So uh, please try it on your device and uh, please email me if it works or not. And uh, yeah, after the uh, 20 uh, different machines, and I still need a testing of the uh, USB-C uh, type connection. So flipping the mode uh, takes a long time or sometimes uh, insertion and removal cycle is required to uh, uh, to make it recognize the uh, connection, okay? Okay, so summary is uh, just the uh, uh, sentences I already uh, mentioned, okay? Thank you for listening. So any questions or? I'm sorry, please repeat. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you, if the port supports the USB 3.0, uh, 3.0, the, uh, even if they, it supports the Thunderbolt or something, uh, it works. Ah, uh, okay, so question was the, uh, uh, question was the, the debugging capability is supported on the uh, USB-C with the Thunderbolt, USB-C with the other protocol than the USB-3. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. I I did not actually did not check this Thunderbolt only port. I did not. Uh, I do not think that there is uh, such a port. Probably, uh, so the, if the Thunderbolt is supported, the USB 3 capability is also supported at the same time. Okay, other questions? Okay, oh, oh, oh one more question. Okay, so if you want to have a cable, that please, please bring, please take this and uh, yeah, and 
you can find uh, the A2A cable um, that supports the USB 3.0. And uh, there are a lot of uh, non-standard cables um, of the A2A cable. But uh, uh, if that supports the USB 3, it is a standard one, so. Okay, thank you.